everyone, this is Joanne. Welcome back to our class. And we are still doing studying about the topic test for the reading, reading part. We are studying reading part for topic test, right? Especially today is the third class. We are still on a type 2 question. It's the second time. Alright? Okay. The type 2 question is about you know, filling in the blank so you can read the, read, read the sentence and find what's best answer for this blank. Alright. Are you ready to start? Alright, here we go. 가요 안에 들어갈 가장 알맞은 것을 고르십시오. This is the question and then we need to read the, these sentences, alright? 설수 씨는 대학생입니다. 영희 씨는, oh, sorry, 영희 씨, 땡땡땡, 대학생입니다. Alright, here the point word, key word is 철수 씨. Is about the person, right? 영희 씨 is about the person too. And then 대학생, 대학생. It's come out over and over, right? Repeat and repeat. So in English, when you want to say, I am a student and you are a student. If you are students, you can say, I am student too. I'm also student like that, right? So we need to find the word, the Korean word like that. In here, you can see that 철수 씨, 영희 씨 is the person's name and then they do, these are all, both subject in these sentences. So we need to find our subject maker, right? Subject maker. Also, we need to find it which subject may we need to find it which is you know which is I mean which is like a two also like a same meaning right so look at here number one a number two l number three e number four do number one a is also makers but it can be used typically, typically with place, date, or time, right? 학교에, at school, like this, right? Number two, lil is object maker, right? 나는 영희 씨를 좋아합니다. I like 영희, like that. It's object maker, and 의 is possessive case like uh, 학생의 of student 선생님의 of teacher like that right and number four though is one of subject maker and then which is which has you know the same meaning like us also two as well right so in this question right answer will be number Four, 철수 씨는 대학생입니다. 영희 씨도 대학생입니다. Right? We are all studying Korean, so you studying Korean. You study Korean too. You Korean study too, right? You can say, 나는 한국어를 공부합니다. 너도 한국어를 공부합니다. 여러분도 한국어를 공부합니다. So don't forget about subject maker though, alright? Number 17. 조깅을 많이 합니다. 그래서 땡땡땡. In, we need to look at you know, the word 그래서. 그래서 is, uh, is same with so. In English, right? So I told you the last time. So the before good the the sentence before good as hard will be a reason or excuse, and then the sentence after good as hard will be result, right? So look at here. Jogging 많이 합니다. Jogging is the running in the morning, right? So let me think. If if I I running in the morning a lot and a lot every day, 
what happened to me, right? Think, and then we can find the right answer. Number one, 깨끗합니다. What is what does 깨끗합니다 mean? Clean, right? Clean. Number two, 친절합니다. 음, 친절합니다 means uh, nice and kind. Number three, 따뜻합니다 means warm, right? Number four, 건강합니다 means health, healthy, right? So, right answer will be number four. 조깅을 많이 합니다. 그래서 건강합니다. Right? Okay. X, anyway, do you work out a lot? I need to work out a lot, but I don't have enough time. It's really, really, really difficult excuse, right? Hmm. I want to, I want to running a lot, but I don't have enough time, right? Number 18. Let's move fast. 지갑에 동전이 많습니다. 지갑이 땡땡 무겁습니다. All right, here we go. We need to find out uh, the keyword here. 동전 많습니다. 지갑이 무겁습니다. All right. You know what? 동전 is the coin. If in your purse there are a lot of coins, and then your purse will be really heavy, right? So we need to, but it's all the, the vocabulary to make a sentence here, right? So we think in this blank, it needs adverb, okay? Adverb. We need to find an adverb here, number one to four. These all adverb. The number one, 오래, but it all has different, you know, different use. So, 오래 means so long, for long. So, how we can say, if you are waiting for your friend, but he didn't come, he didn't come yet, so you can say, oh, wait, I wait, I've waited him so long, right? We can say, 오래 in this case. 나는 오래 기다렸습니다. Right? Okay. Number two, 너무. 너무 is you know, same with to, uh, so, very in English. Okay? So, uh, to, or very, or really. Okay? So, number three, 가끔. 가끔 mean you you don't do this uh, often, so it means thumb, sometimes, right? Sometimes, 가끔. So we can say I meet my friends sometimes, right? In in Korea, 나는 가끔 친구를 만납니다. 가끔. Okay, remember. And then number four, 일찍 is about you know early. Right, early. So you came early. You want to say you came early here. Very nice, right? In Korea, 일찍 왔네요. 일찍 왔어요. Like that. So in this plan, in this case, the right answer will be number two, right? 지갑이 너무 무겁습니다. My purse is so heavy, right? Too heavy. So, 너무. Remember this adverb because it, this adverb, the question is very often come out in the test. Okay? Number 19. 학교 앞에서 약속이 있습니다. 그래서 친구를 땡땡땡. Look at here. 그래서. What did I say? 그래서 means so, right? And then the sentence before so will be reason and excuse, and the sentence after so will be result, right? Or reaction, right? So look at here. The keyword will be uh, 
약속. I have 약속. What is 약속? 약속 means appointment or you know the meeting with friend or plant. Okay, but you know what? 약속 has different meaning also in Korean. You know, promise. Okay, so you need to find out what kind of 약속 in this sentence. In this case, it 약속 will be appointment, plan. Okay, plan. So, 친구. So I have you know plans with my friend, right? I'm going to meet my friend. So what am I go? I where am I go? What am I doing right now? I have a plan, and I am ding ding ding, right? Look at find out number one. 좋아합니다. 좋아합니다 means like, right? I like you. I have um, I have you know I have planned. I like you. I like it. So it doesn't make sense, right? Number two, 기다립니다. 기다립니다 means waiting, right? Waiting. So waiting will be very looks like very looks very perfect, right? 학교 앞에서 약속이 있습니다. 그래서 친구를 기다립니다. Number three, 가르칩니다. 가르칩니다 means what I'm doing right now to you. So teach, right? Number four, 도와줍니다. 도와줍니다 is about is meaning it means help. Okay, help. I'm helping you also, right? I'm very I'm very glad to help you. All right. Okay, the right answer, best answer is number. Can we can we move next question, right? Here. Number 20. 이 사람은 회사원입니다. 학생 땡땡 아닙니다. Okay, this question uh, this sentence is about some one person, right? And then this is about you know explain about him and especially his job because we can we know uh he is 회사원, office worker, right? He is he is the the office worker, right? And then after this sentence, 학생 띵띵 아 uh, 학생 띵띵 아닙니다. 아닙니다 means not. He is not. He is not. Why? Right. He is. The office worker and he's not what? He's not. 학생 is student. He's not student, right? And then we need to find the word subject maker, right? Here is subject maker come. All right. So subject maker. Here we are. We know what is subject maker. Mm -mm. Mm. E ga right? This is the subject maker. So let's find out. Oh, here are two sub. Uh, no, no, only one subject maker, right? Number two. Okay, here we go. 이 사람은 회사원이 회사원입니다. 학생이 아닙니다. Good. Number twenty-one. 우리는 땡땡땡 만났습니다. 인사를 했습니다. Okay, here is a keyword. 만났어요. 만났습니다. And then 인사. Say hello. We doing. Say hello, right? Because we meet. Oh, we meet. And if you meet your friend in the on the street, what are you going to do? First, you can say hello, right? So 우리는. Oh, this case. This. Sentence a little bit different. So we about with the the example what I say before. But okay, 우리는 만났습니다. 인사를 했습니다. This sentence is perfect. Why right? the these these two sentences are perfect? So we don't need any other vocabulary for this sentence. It means in this blank we need to use the ad 
adverb, right? Adverb. So number one to four, these are all adverb. I told you before, adverb is very, very often catch on, right? So number one, 별로. 별로 mean not really, not really. Very negative meaning. I don't like you, really, not really. I don't like chicken, not really. I don't like beer, not really. It's not true anyway. Okay, number two. Ah, okay, 별로. We can have an example in Korean. 나는 맥주를 별로 좋아하지 않아요. 나는 치킨을 별로 좋아하지 않아요. I told you before that's all lie. Okay, number two. 처음. 처음 means when you do something, it's your first time. So it means your first experience or something like that. So 처음. So we can make a sentence. 나는 처음 한국어를 공부합니다. I study Korean first. Okay? 나는 처음 한국어를 공부해요. Number three, 아마. 아마 is when you use, when uh, you can use 아마 when you guess something or think. 아마, 아, something like that, right? Uh, maybe, maybe when he comes tonight or maybe, uh, maybe we can meet Li uh, Min Ho in the, on the street in Korea, like that, right? So, ama mean when you guess or when you wish something. So, ama piga ul koyo. Ama piga ul komnita. Maybe it will be raining later. Okay, I can hear some sound out there. Kwang 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 right now. All right, and then number four, 아직 mean yet. I didn't do something yet, mean 아직, right? Hmm, what time is it now? You didn't come yet. I call you, you didn't come yet, right? 너, 당, 너 아직 안 왔네? 아직 안 왔어요. So you can use 아직 like yet. And this question, this sentence, which is right, 우리는 만났습니다. 인사를 했습니다. What do you think? Which is the best for this question? 나 우리는 별로 만났습니다. It sounds weird. 우리는 처음 만났습니다. 인사를 했습니다. Right. When you meet someone far, you can say 안녕하세요. Hello, like that, right? So the answer will be number two. Number 22, 학교에 학생이 없습니다. 그래서 땡땡땡. I told you about the 그래서. It comes so many times, right? So now, in, so you should remember, right? It's hard to forget about the word 그래서, right? I think it come out already three times today, right? It means it's very important, right? Okay, good. So, 그래서 means so. And then this will be excuse and result. And then this will be the... Re, what did I say? This will be reason and excuse. And this will be result or reaction, right? Alright, 학교에 학생이 없습니다. 학생 means students, right? There aren't students in the school, at school. So, how is it? Number one, 작습니다. It's small. There aren't students, so the school is small. Mm, no. Number two, 예쁩니다. There aren't students, so school is very beautiful. You cannot say that, right? And then number three, 가깝습니다. 가깝습니다 means close, right? Okay, close means it's about distance, right? It's not about the, you know, the kind of mood, right? And then number four, 조용합니다. 
조용합니다. Means something like that right now, right? 조용합니다. It's very quiet. So there aren't students. 학교에 학생이 없습니다. So the school is very quiet, right? Quiet. So right answer will be number four. Good. Alright, we almost finished, right? Please cheer up, right? We already been in number 23. Hmm, right? Okay. Alright. 땡땡땡을 안 가지고 왔습니다. 지금 돈이 없습니다. Alright. So, 안 가지고 왔습니다 means I don't have something, right? I don't have something. Right here, something. I don't have something. So, here's a missing so. So, 돈 없습니다. 돈 is what I like. The money, right? Money. 없습니다 means I don't have. So, I don't have a money because this will be the reason, right? Because I 가지고 왔습니다. What? Because what what did I what did I not bring? Number one, 우산. What is 우산? Umbrella, right? 사건, some event, you know, or accident, or case. 안경, you know, 안경. 응? 안경, something. Put on your on your eyes, right? Number four, 지갑. 지갑. So normally we put the money in the 지갑, right? Right answer will be number four. Number twenty-four. 이 그림이 마음에 땡땡땡. 이것을 사고 싶습니다. Alright, 그림 will be the picture. And then, 이것을 사고 싶습니다. 사고 싶습니다. Mean, I want to buy this. I want to buy this, right? 사고 싶어요. Because I think, think, I blah, 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 this picture. I like, right? I love, right? In Korean world, if you want to say, I like something, right? Not person, right? Normally, we can use this expression to person also, but my, you know, but uh, normally we can use to things. 마음. So it's kind of idiom. If you want to say I like something with 마음, 마음 means in your heart, mind. So 마음에 들다. Okay, this is it's an idiom, so you should remember together. 마음에 들다. 마음에 들다 means 좋아하다. Alright? Do you like your teacher? You can say that. So you can say, 나는 선생님이 마음에 듭니다. So we can find right answer. It will be number four. 마음에 듭니다. Okay, let's check number one, two, three. 잡니다 is sleep. 납니다 means many different kind of. 납니다 you can use. Oh, it's hot. 땀, sweat. I'm sweating. And then you can say 땀이 납니다. It's come. 납니다 means come. Come out. Okay. And number three, 옵니다 is come, 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 come. Right? You should come to Korea, alright? 옵니다. Okay. Number 25, 땡땡땡에 갑니다. 책을 읽습니다. 책, what is 책? Is the book, right? So what do you do with the book? We read, right? So we can read the book everywhere, anywhere, but typically, Normally, ordinarily, where do you read the book? 경찰서, police office, 
식당, restaurant. Of course, we can read a book, restaurant. Mm. Number oh, there are two. Oh my, there mistake. Number two and three is the same, mm. right? And then number four, 도서관. What is 도서관? It's a library. So where can you read book, right? 도서관. 도서관에 갑니다. I am going to library and read the book. I'm sorry about it. There are some mistake. Okay. Twenty six. 배가 땡땡땡. 그래서 약을 먹습니다. 그래서 it comes again, right? So this will be the reason. 배가 배 배, here, right? 배가, 땡땡땡. 약, what is 약? 약 is drug, right? Drug. Medicine. 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 We take medicine because we are sick, right? Especially this stomach ache. I have stomach ache. I have stomach ache. In Korean, we can say 배가 아픕니다. 배가 아픕니다. Number one will be the answer. Number two and two number from number two three four is number two 싫습니다. I don't like it. I don't like. I hate. Right? Number three 예쁩니다. Pretty. I am pretty. I'm little pretty girl like that. Number four 흐릅니다. The water flow, right? 흐릅니다. So right answer is number one. Here's some more, you know, the expression about the, the people sick. People are sick. Number one, 배가 아픕니다. I have a stomachache, right? 머리가 아픕니다. I have a headache. 다리가 아픕니다. I hurt on my leg, right? 손이 아픕니다. I have uh, her I heard on my in my hand like that. Okay? Number 27 은행에 갑니다. 동전 땡땡 지폐를 바꿉니다. Here's a keyword 은행 동전 지폐. So 은행 is the bank, right? Bank. The bank has a lot of money, like a coin and bills, right? So 동전 will be coin and 지폐 will be the bill, right? So I save a lot of coins at home, like that, a million, a hundred, a thousand, a million. And I bring all together to the bank. And then what do you want to, what do I want to do? I want to exchange, right? Going to the bill, right? Exchange, right? Coins and bill, right? Coin and bill. Going to the bill in English actually, but in Korea, let's find out. Okay. Going to the bill. So here, we need some maker, maker, we need some maker between the coin, 동전 and the 지폐. So the perfect word is, is this one, you know, the Korean word like a and, okay? Because it means you should change, you know, the coin and the 지폐. Bill, like that. All right. So in Korean world, and we have wa and kwa. Oh, look at here. They are the in the answer, right? But look at the word 동전, especially the last the last letter. I told you the important thing is the last letter. If the last letter has the batim, look at here. There's the batim. Can you see batim here? Right. So, 동전 
과 동전과 지폐를 바꿉니다. If the letter has b u t t o n you can use with 과 If the letter doesn't have b u t t o n you can use 와 동전과 지폐와 지폐 지폐 doesn't have any b u t t o n here, right? 지폐와 동전과 Alright? So, right answer will be number one. 은행에 갑니다. 동전과 지폐를 방구입니다. 오! It comes here. I make it. I made it already. Okay? 띵과. But you also you can use 와. Okay? Number 28. 겨울입니다. 날씨가 땡땡 춥습니다. Look at here. These sentences are so perfect, right? 겨울입니다. 날씨가 춥습니다. It makes sense, right? It makes sense. So it means we need adverb here, right? Adverb. So look at here. Number one, 아까. Number two, 아주. Number three, 먼저. Number four, 어서. So number one, 아까 means before, right? We study, we study about adverb before already. 우리 아까 공부했어요. Number two, 아주 mean, what is it? So, to, really, very, right? 겨울입니다. 날씨가 아주 춥습니다. It's winter. The weather is so chilly, right? Hmm, makes sense. Number three, 먼저. 먼저 mean uh, it's also same with number one, before. Right? Before. Hmm. And then number four, 어서. 어서 mean, you know, when you Mm, also has so many different meaning. You know, sometimes it means you know hurry. Okay, hurry. Also, 가자. We should go right now. So hurry up, right? Also, 가자. Okay. Also, 오세요 mean welcome, right? Also, 오세요. Welcome to our class. Also, s e o n g Okay? So, right adverb will be number two. It comes so many, right? 아주. So, you should remember, okay? Okay, it has a three star here. 아주. Remember about this. Number 29. 언니는 노래를 배웠습니다. 노래를 잘 땡땡땡. Here's keyword. 노래, 노래, 잘, okay? So, 노래 it will be the meaning. What is 노래 in English? 노래 is the song, right? Song. So, 잘 mean well, well. So, you sing, uh, I'm sorry, yeah, you songs, you doing, what are you do, what are you doing with the song? Of course, you're going to sing, right? Sing. Of course, you can make a, you can, you can use make or write or something like that. But this is our really, really basic grammar, right? So basic way, think very basic way. So not you know complicated. So we can sing a song, right? We can sing a song. So we can find the right answer. Number one, 춥니다. So what do you 춥니다? It comes with dance. You can say dance in English. It can be the verb and noun. But in Korean, 춤, the dance, only can be, you know, only can be the noun. So you should need the verb together. 춤을 춥니다. It's kind of set. Set. Okay, 춤, sorry. <웃음> 춤을 춤 
니다. 라이트. 춤을 춥니다. It's kind of idiom, right? Set. Come together. Couple. Never can break. Okay? And 부릅니다. Can be the song, right? The 노래를 부릅니다. It also can be set, okay? And 탑니다. It can use to many different case. Like a 차를 탑니다. I take a car, get on the car, right? And then 던집니다. It means throw, okay? What do you want to throw? 공을 던집니다. 책을 던집니다. Like that, okay? So the right answer will be 노래를 잘 부릅니다. But remember, 부릅니다, 부르다, will be has some other meaning, right? 부르다 has different meaning here. So number one, 노래를 부르다, sing a song, right? Sing, the meaning, like a sing. Number two, 친구를 집에 부르다. 친구를 집에 부르다. In this case, the 부르다 means invite. I invite my friend. Okay? Invite. Number three, 개를 멍멍이라고 부르다. I call the puppy. Uh, pup can say a little. Uh, I can call, you know, I can call the dog bow wow, bow wow. So it means called or named. Name. Okay? Then number four, 배가 부르다. 배가 부르다 mean I'm full. I'm full. Okay? So 부르다 has some other meaning. Alright, remember also can use different way. Okay. Number 30, 오늘은 동생 생일입니다. 동생의 친구들은 땡땡땡. Something weird, the question. Alright, let me change. So, 친구들, no, 을. Okay? 동생의 친구들, 을, 땡땡땡. 오늘은 동생 생일입니다. 동생의 친구들, 을, 땡땡땡. 동, keyword will be 동생 생일. And 동생 친구들. 동생 생일. Do you know what is 생일 in Korea and uh, in English is birthday. So today is my brother or sister. We don't know. Brother's birthday. So what do we do to my brother's friend? We, we have birthday party so we can invite, right? We can invite the people, right? So number one, 좋아했습니다. Liked it, liked. And then 초대했습니다. Invited. Number three, 가르쳤습니다. Thought. Number four, 구경했습니다. So, so right answer will be number two. Good, right? 오늘은 동생 생일입니다. 동생의 친구들을 초대했습니다. Okay? I'm sorry about the, this mistake again. I should check first before the class. Sorry. <laughs> I hope you understand this uh, mistake because you're a very understanding person, right, people? Okay. All right. I guess that's all for today. All right. So today's class Hopefully it's not that difficult for you, right? And I'm sorry again, there's some mistake in this, you know, the file, the class, lesson. But I know, I know, I believe you understand, right? Thank you very much. Come to next class again. All right, I'm gonna see you next time, right? 감사합니다. 다음에 다시 만나요.